Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to Animal Amazement. On this episode, we're getting a little more human-like and looking at monkeys, specifically snow monkeys. Snow monkeys, which are a type of macaque, are native to Japan and they live in areas that are covered in snow most of the year. And they're actually the only primate besides humans that live in such cold climates. They're really good at leaping and swimming and they're highly intelligent and really cute. They also feature prominently in folklore and religion in Japan. Researchers have been studying these monkeys for about 80 years now and they like to leave them sweet potatoes on the beach. These monkeys are a great example of how culture develops in other species, which might give us some clues into how our own cultures developed. Snow monkeys live with super rigid hierarchies and social class systems. Their troops can have anywhere from 30 to hundreds of monkeys, and they're mostly female-led. It's these females who will initiate new habits that the rest of the troop will pick up. The most famous example of this is when a snow monkey named Emo in the 1940s decided to try washing her sweet potato in the river instead of using her hand to wipe off the sand, and the rest of her troop followed suit. She then decided to try dipping the potato in the sea and then she took a bite out of it and liked the salty taste and dipped it again. And generations later, her troop is still washing and seasoning their sweet potatoes. Emo also liked to wash her wheat in the river by dropping it into the water and then waiting for it to float back up to the surface, soil free. And this is also something that her troop is still doing. Another troop of snow monkeys expanded their territory in the 1960s and found some hot springs. A few of them tried bathing in it and then everyone else jumped in and they've been doing this every winter ever since. Since researchers have been feeding them sweet potatoes, these monkeys have to devote less time to searching for food, which means that they have more free time and they found other ways to pass the time. One troop likes to bash rocks together for fun, just like how you play with a fidget toy. And they also like to stack flat rocks up and then knock them over. This was first observed in a young female in 1979, and now her whole troop likes to play with rocks. They'll even sometimes play house and pretend that a large stone is a baby. Playing with stones has become commonplace among two snow monkey troops. But snow play is a luxury. Monkeys of higher ranking have more time to play with rocks than those who need to spend more of their time looking for food. Another troop likes to play with snowballs. Young snow monkeys have figured out how to use their hands to create tiny snowballs and then they roll them around to create bigger ones. And adults will even sometimes play with snowballs made by younger monkeys. They haven't started throwing them yet, but they do carry them around as toys. Snow monkeys are also a great way to observe how languages form because different troops speak with different accents or dialects. These changes came about because of changes in their environment. For example, snow monkeys who live in densely wooded areas speak in higher pitched calls because that sound travels better. And different troops have developed different names or calls for foods. And in 1982, a troop of snow monkeys was moved to Texas where they invented new words or calls for foods like cactus and for warnings against rattlesnakes and scorpions. They also started sweating, which they had never done back in Japan. Snow monkeys can also be very clever. One troop of monkeys near Osaka has learned how to steal purses and wallets to get coins to buy themselves food and drinks from vending machines. Some other monkeys have developed the ability to fill up their arms with sweet potatoes and then run away on their hind legs, which could have been similar to how and why humans began walking on two legs. And macaques really aren't that different from humans. Scientists and researchers who have spent years studying them often describe that they have very distinct personalities and very human-like expressions and mannerisms. Macaques have a larger brain than other monkeys, so even though they're not as smart as apes, they do have a human-like dexterity with their hands and fingers, and a sophisticated hand-eye coordination. Long-tailed macaques in Thailand have learned to use stone tools to dislodge shellfish from rocks and to open up large oysters. They also use their tails as sticks to get food sometimes. Because their tails are not prehensile, they have to grab them with one hand to use them as a tool. 
they have also started practicing dental hygiene. Some of them like to pull hairs out of human heads and use those hairs as dental floss. So I hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing animals. Please like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more and tune in next week for another animal amazement video.